So, now we come to the next uh, module, uh, now the next session. Uh, the learning objectives here are to understand the pool planning better and then understand these terms PPC and then weekly huddle, daily, uh, daily huddle and do variance analysis, understand root cause analysis uh, and so on. If you look at see, you know, good, these are good pictures of how the pool planning is done for the weekly planning or the look ahead planning. All the concerned people are there. This is a very, very interesting uh, chart here. Typically, what we do, we have this number of uh, these sticky notes. So, the, we start from the rear end and come down to the front later by and by. First, the last activity man, he goes and puts his sticky note of, you know, how much work he can do provided, you know, the various things are given to him. So, the previous man comes and puts his sticky note in a different color saying what he will do on various previous dates. For example, concreting to be done on Saturday, form work may have to be ready on Wednesday, rebar may have to be ready on Thursday and Friday and so on. So, all these promises are all coming on the same chart in different colors and in by put in by the different people who are concerned. That is a great advantage of this pool planning session being done in a big room by all the concerned people at the same time. So, there are very, very interesting, uh, you know, uh, to look at how the various people come together in the same room, talk to each other, understand the work better, make promises, take promises and then work out the complete planning. In large projects, for example, where, you know, people cannot come together in the same space, we can do also do this, you know, with the mobiles to some extent. But nothing beats, uh, you know, coming together in person. I talked to you about this parameter called PPC, the plan person complete. It is a measure of the effectiveness of the production system which we have uh, uh, formulated now. In uh, mathematical terms, it is a number of fully completed assignments divided by total number of assignments committed multiplied by 100. For example, if you look at a weekly planning, so we have Monday to Saturday and there are various activities. And these are all the various, you know, the first column in every day that says how much I have planned to do on that given day. The second column says how much I actually have done. For example, against 100, I have done 80. And the definition of PPC, if you remember, number of fully completed assignments. The catch here is fully completed. So, if I have doing a, for example, a plastering on a, a floor, or on, a, on a wall, the next activity to that is probably tiling on the floor. So, unless I do the plastering completely on the wall and then, you know, when you are doing plastering, lot of material is going to fall on the ground. I need to do cleaning up also. So, when I say my work is complete, it gets completed only when I do the plastering and do the cleaning up of the damage which I have caused. Then only the next man can come for the floor tiling. So, on a given day, I do say 95 percent of the work the remaining area is not plastered and the floor is not clean. What happens, you know, if I do not inform the people, people, other people, next day morning the tiling crew comes in and then they find that they cannot start the work. The entire tiling crew is idle just because I have not completed 5 percent of work. Whereas, if I say the previous day, I have not completed the work because I have not done 100 percent, then the tiling crew gets a pre-planning, they can go to another place for doing the work. So, the definition of PPC is always number of activities which are fully completed. Fully means totally. You do not have to go back to the place again. That is the kind of thing. So, 80 out of 100, I do not get 80 percent as PPC. I get 0. And if I do more than 100, what is the problem? The problem is it is not useful to the subsequent activity. The subsequent activity man is only waiting for the 100 percent work to be completed. If I do more area, I am not planned for that additional area. So, it is no use to me. It is actually work in progress. So, we want to avoid waste. So, whatever you promise, do that much and be done with it. So, you do not get more marks, higher PPC beyond 100, either up to 100, 100 or we have something less like that. So, we every day we see whether you know we have met the targets or not. Y means Y, S, N means no. We count the number of S's at the end of the week divided by total number of activities and work out the percentage. So, here for example, we got 80 percent 
as the weekly average PPC. We can also measure the PPC every day. These numbers are, for example, daily PPC. These are not of real use, but they are giving an idea of the variation along the week. Am I being consistent across the week or am I performing on a given day and not performing on the other days? So, that I need to analyze and improve myself. So, PPC is that. A very good PPC means the work is well planned, well coordinated and you are generally keeping your promises, keeping up to your promises. At PPC less than 100 means there are a number of things wrong. We need to find out why and keep improving ourselves. So, the reasons for failure, that is what we need to identify by the, the root cause analysis. And then what, how do we measure PPC? Every day, the uh, planning manager goes around to the various sites or at the end of the day, all people come together in a single place called the daily huddle. You know, in uh, IPL, you would have seen all these players, you know, getting together like that, discussing strategy or just, you know, boosting up the morale of the team like that. That is called a huddle. So, at the end of the day, daily, all the people come together, they, you know, uh, exchange notes. Okay, I could, uh, you know, then the planning manager takes stock. Have you done 100 percent or not? What have you done? How much have you done? What have been your problems? The planning manager also asks, what have been your problems? And then goes into the root cause and that are being analyzed separately. So, this activity can be done, you know, at a given time. Say, for example, the, the shift is ending at 7 p.m. So, 7, 10, 7, 15. Everybody gets together at the same place or large projects, you know, you have a mobile connectivity connection between all the people and everybody reports and they note down. So, at that time, the subsequent activity man also understands whether his print is going to be available on the next day for him or not. The tally man, for example, he will know whether the plastering has been completed or not and then he adjusts his work accordingly. So, you could even have a cup of tea at the time of doing the daily huddle. So, that goes on and then every week we plan, we plot this uh, PPC like this, you know, bars or plan every day and these are having too much of variation. So, what we do, we call what is called the moving average. Say, a uh, moving average over 4 weeks or 5 weeks like that, that gives you a smoother line to get the general trend. Here, if you look at the trend here, generally I am going from about 50 percent up to about 85 percent, I am progressing over time. That means, okay, people are learning, they are doing work and they are improving all the time. I am quite happy with this. If somebody consistently gets 100 percent PPC, what does that mean? It could be that either he is a great uh, performer or he is under promising. If I can do 100 cubic meters every day, I keep on saying 80 cubic meter, I keep on achieving that, ultimately you will get caught because people know that you have a greater potential, but you are not committing to your greater potential. So, consistently 100 percent PPC is not good, consistently low PPC also is not good. That means, you are not able to plan, you are not able to perform. Something around 80 to 90 percent PPC consistently, we are quite happy with that. That is what we need to keep checking. And then, when something is not being done properly, we identify the reasons. For example, you can arrange them in the order of increasing magnitude or decreasing magnitude. Here, for example, we say coordination problem, design problem, then you know the owner decision, whether the prerequisites are not done. So, how many times some reason is occurring again and again? If something happening regularly too many times, then we need to tackle that particular uh, reason. If coordination is the main problem occurring so many times, you know, in a given period, I need to see why my coordination is not good. If owner uh, decision is again a big problem consistently, I need to look at that. So, this Pareto chart, you know, gives me the order of importance of the various problems and what I need to tackle to remove or to remediate to ensure that I get consistently a higher PPC. Another beautiful tool of root of lean is something called root cause analysis. We find we at the end of the day, every day the planning manager asks the concerned frontline people, why have not you been able to complete 100 percent PPC? They give the reasons. So, depending on the number of times the reason occurs again and again, we draw a pie chart. Same thing what you saw on the Pareto chart is also coming here coordination problem, engineering, owner decision and so on. So, we immediately understand what is the main culprit and then we need to tackle that again and again to 
find out the reason. The five, you know, when you want to look at the root cause, you need to ask why, why, why five times. For example, some side they said, I couldn't complete the work because of labor shortage. Why well, you ask, why have you have a labor shortage? He says, okay, you know, I didn't understand, uh, estimate properly how much was the work involved. Why couldn't you do that? The drawing was given to me very late. I didn't get the drawing early. Why not? The drawing office was not informed that the drawing would be required by a particular week. And why was that not done? Because the person, the design coordinator had got transferred. Another man has not been uh, you know, appointed. So there is a communication gap there. So the apparent reason is labor shortage. The real reason is something else. So for every problem we encounter, we need to ask why five times, go deep down into the real cause and sort that real cause, sort out the real cause, so that we are able to get consistently better performance all the time. That is the uh, meaning behind a root cause analysis. So, we have covered session 10 on uh, collaborative planning system, the introduction part. So, just to summarize what uh, you know we had seen, in the first part we looked at you know why CPS, the current project performance, what are the problems with the current planning systems, uh, about workflow variation and so on and how CPS can help. The second one, we looked at the progression of various project management techniques and then, you know, we looked at the differences between traditional project management and the, the lean production management. Then we looked at some of the key lean concepts and then, you know, saw how to focus on the frontline execution with CPS. So, we had the, we had several schedules uh, cascading down from the overall milestone schedule, the phase schedules, the look ahead schedule weekly plan and then coming to the daily plan, of course concurrently with the, the constraint analysis and root cause analysis. So, the, uh, the next session we looked at what exactly is pool planning, how to do collaborative pool planning in a big room and we looked at a very key metric, the PPC, the plan person completed and then we talked about the daily huddles and then you know analyzing your PPC variances and then the root cause analysis, a very, very important part and the feedback loops at various stages. Then of course, you also have the supplementary module from where you can learn more about the CPS process. So, I think definitely it's high time you start up practicing CPS in your sites and reap a lot of benefits. All the best. Thank you.